today I'm going to be doing my what I got for Christmas video and I'm not doing this to show off my presents at all. I'm doing this because so many of you have requested it and it's kind of become a tradition. This will be my fourth one of these four years in a row. Also last year some of you commented saying but where's your present from so and so or where's your present from so and so and I can't show you all of my presents because some I left at my mum's house and some are also back in London because some of my friends gave me presents early so I obviously didn't bring those to Norwich with me. Oh and also in case you're wondering why my background is really random it's because I'm filming with no lighting this is just natural lighting uh, because I'm staying at Jim's mum's house so I'm sure most of you know that from watching Vlogmas but in case you're not a Vlogmas viewer you might be completely confused as to why my video looks weird today. But anyway I have the majority of my gifts here to show you guys what I got for Christmas so let's get started. I'm going to start with what my mum and dad got me because I have one of the little presents here on my lap because he's so cute and he needs a name. There's going to be a lot of naming stuff in this video because there's a few things that need naming. So to differentiate between uh, which is what because they're all kind of similar we're going to call this one well I'm not naming him but just that you know what to refer to him as let's call this one Little Penguin so what should I name my Little Penguin this is from my mum and dad and I think that he's so cute he's a really special one he's a Stife original bear which is a special one. So please leave me a comment down below if you'd like to, telling me what I should name my little penguin. Mum and Dad also got Jim and I a joint Christmas present to go and visit some penguins in London and you get to see them and you can feed them and apparently there's a little penguin chick there at the moment so that's really, really exciting and the perfect gift for Jim and I because we both love penguins. My friend Kate got me this gorgeous little penguin mug and I think he's so cute and he is definitely a he, by the way. This one I think could be a girl or a boy, depending on what you guys want to name him or her. This mug, so you can refer to this one as the penguin mug. Um, let me know in the comments what I should name him. I have decided that he is a him. I don't know why, but he is. He has a really cute little scarf on and his little feet poke out, which I love. It feels like a really nice mug to hold and I just opened this and I was like, ah, I love it. Jim's sister Nick got me this gorgeous, cuddly, really squishy penguin and he's definitely the squishiest of the lot. He's one that you could really, you know, hug really, really tight. I think this could be a boy or a girl as well, so let me know in the comments down below what you'd like me to name him or her. I think we should call this one the Big Squishy Penguin. So you can say, I think the big squishy penguin should be called blah blah blah. I think Jim's sister Nick just kind of knows that I love soft stuff because she got me the softest penguin ever. Obviously she knows I love penguins as well. Then she also got me the softest onesie ever, which I have lived in since I opened it on Christmas Day. It's inside out, so I'm just going to turn it in the right way, but you guys won't really be able to see it anyway. It's basically just a classic onesie style and it's very, very soft. It's from Marks and Spencers if any of you want to get it because I would highly recommend it because it's so soft and wonderful. Um, it has a hood and then it also has these little pom-pom things. Oh, and if I keep looking over there, it's because I'm looking at my viewfinder to check that I'm holding stuff up high enough to show you guys. My little brother Oscar got me an absolutely gorgeous gift. He got me this box set from Laura Mercier and I love the packaging, how it's got like the leopard print um, print on it that you can only kind of see in certain lights like oh there you can see it um, and this is the ombre vanilla set and it smells so gorgeous I'm gonna smell so good in 2015 this is the Laura Mercier ombre vanilla set I can smell it from here you get the honey bath the body scrub the body cream and what's this the shimmer body mist that was pretty amazing this year Oscar well done my parents also got me some festive little socks and here they are. Oh, they've got a little Babsy dog on them. Judy's dog is called Babsy. Or, no, she's just called Babs, but we call her Babsy. I forget her real name now because we always, always call her Babsy. Yeah, I've worn some of these already and they are truly great socks. Jim's mum got me this cake tin and this is called a Bunt. I think that's how you say it. It's about B-U-N-D-T. Bunt pan and it basically means that you can make those really beautiful ring cakes where it's, it looks like a giant donut with a hole in the middle. I've wanted one of these for ages. Ooh, it echoes. Mm. <laughs> I've wanted one of these for ages, so I'm really excited that I finally got one of those. And she also got me the Delia's Cakes um, baking book. And I just think this is so beautifully done. I really love the colour scheme of this book and I love that Delia's Cakes is written in metallic. Little things like that just make me really happy. And also this book smells so good. It should really smell like cakes, shouldn't it? She should have scented it smell like cakes, but it smells like a new book, which is one of my 
favourite ever since. My grandparents got me an egg brush, which I know seems completely random, but my nanny knows that I always lose mine, and um, it's actually called a pastry brush, but I just call it an egg brush because that's what you use it for. You basically crack an egg, whisk that up, dip this in, and put it on top of pastry, and it makes it go really golden brown when it's in the oven. My grandparents also got me a really lovely pie dish. I love this forest green colour, because I don't know if you guys know this, I think I've tweeted about it before, but I always bake apple pie with my nanny. It's something I've done ever since I was tiny, and we always bake it for granddad and like the rest of the family. And this means that I can make my own apple pies now in my own home and maybe I'll be making them for nanny and granddad now. And finally I'm going to show you what Jim got me for Christmas. So I'm going to do my stocking stuff first. I absolutely love opening my stocking on Christmas morning. I think that's kind of the most exciting part for me. So in my stocking I got this gorgeous mug from Emma Bridgewater which has a really lovely little painting on it and stars. I love little stars. I think they're so pretty. Some Charbonnel and Walker which is my favourite posh chocolate brand ever for special occasions and this is the Milk Sea Salt Caramel Truffles. They are so good. I was giving everyone one of these on Boxing Day and everyone was like oh my god they're the best truffles in the world. A bottle of Chanel Chanté Fresh because this is my signature fragrance that I'd run out of about three months ago. A Lush Yoganog Soap which Jim hates the smell of but I love the smell of. It smells like buttery caramel something like that. He also got me a butter bear which smells like chocolate and vanilla I think and this is really moisturising to have in your bath. He got me a notebook and then the Queen of the Tearling which I've wanted to read for ages and I'm just so excited to read this. I tried to start reading on Boxing Day but there were just too many people around and I kept wanting to socialise more than I wanted to sit on my own and read so um, maybe tomorrow I'll read a good chunk of this. Then Jim got me some under the tree presents and the first one was these earrings by Maria Black and I just think these are so beautiful. I've got a close up of these on my Instagram, on my Twitter, yeah, Instagram. I put up a picture of like really close up so you can see them in great detail. This was a real surprise getting these earrings because I'd actually mentioned them because um, the makeup artist on my book shoot let me wear them during my book shoot because I loved her earrings so much and she was like here you go just wear them and I just thought that was really sweet and I told him about them when I got home where they were from that I loved them so much and I really wanted to get them and then he surprised me with them on Christmas day which I thought was really romantic and sometimes I think Jim doesn't listen to me because I ramble on a lot but this shows that he really does listen to me. Jim also got me this really, really cool digital radio. I've wanted one of these for ages and I've just never got one because it's not really the type of thing that you buy yourself. And so I thought this was such a good Christmas present. It's really gorgeous to look at as well. I love all the gold details. Details? Details. And the aerial on the back is gold as well. And I just think this is going to look really pretty in our flat, but also just be so nice to have a radio because I know it's quite old fashioned and everyone uses their laptops for everything now. Um, you can even play the radio through your laptop, but I just, there's something about just having an actual radio that I really, really like. So I'm really pleased with this one. And then the final gift that Jim got me, which is absolutely huge, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift it up. Oh, is a KitchenAid. I've wanted a KitchenAid for so many years. Basically, ever since I discovered that KitchenAids existed, I've wanted one just because baking is one of my favourite things in the whole wide world to do and KitchenAids just make baking so much cooler. Also, on loads of the blogs I read, they always have beautiful KitchenAids and I know that the, the picture on the box is red. Oh, I'm going to fall over. Engage core. Sit back up. Um, but actually, it says on the bottom here that this is a baby pink one. And I really wanted the baby pink one and I just couldn't believe it. When I unwrap this, there's something really exciting about having a really big box under the tree. It reminds me of when I was little and I just couldn't believe it when I unwrapped this. I just wanted it for so long. I'm not going to get it out and show you guys just because it's all taped up and I'm not going to undo it until I get back to London. Otherwise, I'll end up losing parts here and stuff. Um, although I'm really tempted to bake with it today. Oh. So heavy. And that is what I got for Christmas. I really have to go now because we're going out for lunch and I'm running really late. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next Sunday. Bye guys, love you, which is actually next year. So see you in 2015. Bye. Mac 239 brush and just pop some of this on top of the vanilla eyeshadow. It'll just add a little Christmas.